hey hi friends today i would like to share few of the important spring boot interview questions which i have encountered in many of my interviews like big game mnc's infosys accenture gap and so on like uh, like i have been interviewed many times like uh, under been interviewed for many times on spring boot and and i thought like chalo some let's have a bunch of interview questions which are frequently asked in every interview question so this is these are my top 20 interview questions i i would like to say and i would like to discuss on the same like see the question would be the same the answer can be anything that's the reason i have given it the first and the beginning only this is completely based on my personal experience and up to my knowledge like what i think what spring boot is so basically the first question that would be asked is what is spring boot so if you go to google and google it you will be finding n number of answers to it you have your own answers there and the second question would be what are the advantages of the spring boot there are there is a list of advantages of spring boot you can go through it in the google i mean i have shared few like it it will provide non, provide a range of non functional features that are common to large classes of project auto configuration spring boot starters embedded servlets accurators externalized configuration profiling security metrics and even like it provides its own servers and the third question would be like uh, i won't say what are the what are the ex- requirements of spring boot to system uh, it would be like what is the difference between spring and spring boot one of the most um, important question uh, then i would say what are the they last like whether we have worked on the spring boot to like what are we aware of what are the requirements for spring boot to like what are the features of spring boot to and this would be one more thing what is the use of enable at the right enable auto configuration see whenever you are going for any spring boot interview inter, uh, like if you are attending for any spring boot interview or interview uh five questions will be for sure what is spring boot why is spring boot what is the difference between spring and spring boot what is the at the right spring boot annotation and this one what is enable auto configuration so then i'll go with what is spring boot starter this is one of the important question they would ask then what is spring boot starter parent then this is not a related to spring but people ask this question how to run a spring boot application or a spring boot generated jar uh, to run a spring boot application you have to go to the main class and you just need to right click if you are using eclipse run as java application it would run the application see i was talking about this is annotation that what is the use of it there is spring boot annotation it is basically the mixture of three like it is equivalent to three annotations at the right configuration at the right enable auto configuration and at the right component scan so next important thing is this what is spring boot dev tools so basically if you are using uh, spring boot version less than 1.5 every time you make a change you need to restart your server but from 1.5 we are having this dependency like dev tools uh, thing so if you are adding this as a dependency in our project without uh, you making a manual restart the application will automatically restart itself whenever it detects a change then what is profiling in spring boot uh, this is uh, not exactly related to spring boot this is a common question across any technology like what is profiling how we will maintain the profiling and all those things what is spring boot accurator so this what is like this accurate help you to ma- uh, like monitor and manage your application health when you push it into production like which all urls are up which or rest apis are up or down how they are performing you can see that so another important question in the spring boot interview question is the what is auto conf- like how to disable some auto configuration that is spring boot is providing so there is an annotation called that enable auto configuration in the brackets you give exclude and in the flower bracket you give you give a class which you don't want to get included that's it the what is live reload this is a similar type like dev tools which we have discussed earlier uh, only the difference is it it renders to the browser directly when the browser gets refreshed so next question would be what are the advantages of spring externalized configuration this is uh, like basically through externalization we can pass the configuration to the our spring boot application you have this is my definition of spring externalization you can have your own thing 
uh, there would be what is hot swapping in spring boot uh, you have your own answer for this just copy it and google it you will get the answer what are some important features of using spring boot yeah, this one i was talking about earlier also like what are the features of spring boot and what are the advantages you get out of it what was the impediments we were having in the spring like there was junk of code we have to write it in the xml codes xml files that can be managed now uh, embedded container and more like what are some important boot spring boot annotations this they will definitely as then ask the like complete thing what uh, if, if i'm saying it that and auto configuration what would what it will do if i'm saying it at that component scan what it will do like if i'm saying at the spring boot what it will do so other would be like uh, can you control the logging with spring boot file in the spring boot application we're using what files and all those things so in the basically in the application or properties file we will be having we need to configure this like logging dot level at what level you want to configure that logging so that's it friend from now chalo hopefully you people may have liked it or it may be helpful